Alrighty, hello, hello, my name is Ash and welcome to this uh, Create 0.3 tutorial stream. So today I'm going to be going over uh, some of the new train, car uh, and carriage features in Create 0.3, uh, showing you how to make them and what you can do with them. Um, uh, I, I'll be answering questions uh, for people that are here live uh, later on, but I'm going to try and ignore them uh, after I explain some stuff. So to, to start with, um, I have a locomotive here uh, that I built a while ago. So let's press F1 and I'll show you the basics of how carriage contraptions work. So if we go over here, I have built a structure um, and I've stuck this structure together with uh, super glue. And um, to, to, for something to be counted as a structure and create, um, it needs to be either stuck together with chassis or glue um, or slime blocks or another way or a, a vanilla-ish way. Um, but you can see I have two of these items called cart assemblers here. So if I were to um, get a uh, a normal minecart and let's also get a minecart with a furnace and place those over there. And then if we were to, let's have a look here. I believe I have a lever right there. We can see that this assembles. Um, so now uh, you cannot hit these blocks. They are assembled in a structure uh, and this is a carriage contraption. So if you were to, um, there, are, there are a couple ways of powering or making these move. Um, you can either use a furnace minecart in the structure or you can use um, something like a, uh, what do I call it? Or you can use like powered rails or any other method of, of uh, moving items. But as you can see, uh, this locomotive that I've built is now moving. So, um, this is the basics of, of how or what a con carriage contraption is in Create. Um, so, to make a carriage contraption, I'll go over it really quickly here. You have two of these cart assemblers and you place them um, lit, uh, on the same Y level. Um, you know, they can be um, around corners and stuff, right? Uh, this, if I were to have a cart assembler here and connect these, I believe it would still assemble, but uh, they will not assemble if you have the cart assemblers at different Y levels, is something I've discovered. So if you were to try and connect these blocks with sticky stuff, then you would have that. So yeah, they just need to be connected. The structure needs to be connected with either super glue, chassis, or um, or other sticky blocks. So um, if we were to go over here now, um, you don't uh, like just in case people don't know, uh, carriage contraptions do not have to be using two card assemblers. Uh, if you actually look here in the shift uh, description menu, um, there are single cart contraptions and carriage contraptions. However, trains are carriage contraptions, so that's what we'll be going over today. So, um, yeah, so, so uh, again, like, you know, you just build to connect them. Um, so if I were to go, let's get, let's build one. So let's get this in my offhand we uh, can, uh, well, that one's already sticky. So then we can put this in our offhand stick and then stick. Now, if we were to put a cart here and a cart here and power one of these uh, with a lever, which I accidentally deleted just then, like here, you can see that it assembles as a carriage contraption and we can, um, we can move this here and it will go back and forth. Um, well, it won't go back and forth because this is, this setup isn't really kind to carriages. You'll need to make a loop. Um, and yeah, so um, so this is the basics. Um, there are a couple other things 
that uh, are important to note. Um, this isn't necessarily a, a create contraption thing, but this is um, just a thing with uh, all uh, all moving structures. Yes, this is my testing world. Um, you can see um, I, I have this cable car. Uh, it's a little broken, actually, um, because of a bug of, uh, of bearings, like, switching sides. Um, but putting a bearing on a... Uh, on any contraption as well will keep the stuff attached to the bearing at um, level, right? So you can see that it is always facing parallel to the ground, um, even though this uh, this structure here is moving up and down. Um, right, I am going to turn this off though because the bearing, there's a bit of a bug with bearings in that um, when you assemble and then reassemble uh, carriage contraptions, they'll switch sides. So let, let me think of the other stuff. Right. So if we were to, let's, um, let's, let's stop this, this carriage right here. So, uh, we'll, we'll go over, uh, connecting multiple carriages. So, uh, I've turned this off so it'll disassemble. Um, however, the minecarts do still move. Um, you'll need to use either, uh, controller rails or actually I, I should just switch these to controller rails. One second. Uh, if you use controller rails, the minecarts on them will just stop. So we can do this. This is before I knew about this, uh, is when I built this is why it doesn't use it. So let's go here, controller rail, and there we go. And now if we were to place uh, the minecart and this minecart and you can just click on the the carriage or the cart assembler and it will um, automatically place it in the right spot um, it'll center it and stuff on the on the right rail so now if I were to power this um, one second. I need to I need to actually get in here. I haven't I haven't designed this in the most in the best way. So we can see this moves. And uh, one thing we can do is if we were to uh, we're gonna stop the train right here like this, and hopefully that'll just uh, stop moving or it'll bounce back. That's this is fine. <laughs> This isn't the best way to get this set up because I've got a, a furnace engine. So you um, you only need one one of these uh, for it to move, but if you want it to turn around corners, you will need two. So if you want a um, if you want a carriage, oh, I need to uh, turn this off first. Um, you can oh, God damn it! I, I said turn that off first. There we go. So, we can place two minecarts there, and we just connect them. Um, chassis will stick when they're next to each other like this. They'll just stick together. So, uh, we can make a very simple carriage contraption, which is just a, a platform of chassis. Um, however, anything that sticks these blocks together will do the trick. And if we were to now move this off, Right, and then we can uh, make another one, you know, the same way. We'll just do uh, two carriages uh, to give an example. So we'll bring that over here. Uh, you are right, I do not need to have this like this, one sec. Yeah, there we go. So, let's put a lever here now. And we can move this carriage contraption. And now if you want to link different carriages together, we can use this thing called a minecart coupling. Now the minecart coupling will just um, connect any carriages together, like this, it forms this, and you can place another one, and 
you can connect them all and if you want to disconnect it you can just use a wrench and if you click on a cart it'll remove that um, it'll remove all couplings uh, be wary if you use a wrench on a uh, a carriage it considers both minecarts coupled so it will disassemble um, however if you use it on a singular minecart contraption it will pick it up instead um, so those are some different behaviors you can actually see um, that working in my um, what's it called in in my uh, portable portable tunnel tunnel bore manual tunnel bore so anyway so you can see I connected the front, uh, I guess, bogey, the front bogey and the second bogey together. And now these two carriages are linked. So um, if I were to, let's see, we want this to spin back around. Um, however, it's having a bit of trouble getting to the right spot. So... Um, if we can get this in place. Um, for some reason it does not like this corner much. So, well um, then, uh, like, just imagine we have another one of those locomotives. So, um, yeah, well, okay, we can, we can make a makeshift locomotive right here. So let's pretend this can be a, a, another locomotive. We only need one furnace minecart. Um, you can also use powered rails and it's fine. So then we'll, you know, we'll put something like this. And you can use some super glue here. Uh, change the range down on these. And if you were to have like a campfire, campfires when assembled on minecarts do produce smoke. So. What you can do is you assemble this, right? So this is a minecart contraption again. So we can connect this and, uh, well, actually, before we do this, uh, let's display another thing, um, a good compatibility. If we have a chest and we stick this chest onto this and we would have filled this chest with, uh, coal over here um, the minecart furnace will use that coal in that chest to um, power it uh, we do need to start it but first so let's connect our carriages and if we were to power this now you can see it will take all of the stuff around um, and it's a little buggy because I've got this stuff in the way. But if I were to... How do I? Okay, let's just... um One second. If I just get rid of uh, that for right now. Well, I mean, I you get the point, right? You c They'll go around corners like this. Um... So, so yeah, th those are how minecart contraptions work, right? You use two cart assemblers, you stick them over the top, and then um, it'll, it'll, you can couple the different carriages together, and it'll move it all around. Um, and there are some funky stuff you can do with this. I know uh, someone in the Create Discord uh, called Darcy has been able to make, um, like, large double bogey con um train contraptions or train carriages by using two of the um let's see if i can i can mimic it actually um if you were to let's say this is a bogey and uh then we have so so yeah then we have and it would have uh this go here so then we could also go like this and this, no, like uh, this. And we can place minecarts all like this. 
then if you were to say couple um well because this is assembled we can place blocks here now so we can place blocks like this uh we'd want to use chassis though so we'd go like um for instance we'd place that there and we can raise it up so we can do this on here too um the carts are bumping around a bit um but we can then raise this up and this is a bit more complex you don't need to do stuff like this i'm just trying to show that it is possible um so because this is assembled the blocks aren't here so you can um place blocks right through it now if this is this is eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight then we can just use super glue to make up the rest of the distance um like that so now if i were to assemble uh this carriage right here you can see that assembles and then we can also go like um like this and place those through there and uh we can power this one again oh okay and that should have powered so then we can just link the middle cart to the front bogey on both of these and then if you were to i believe i used a furnace cart here you can see uh well okay it didn't work perfectly but uh, because I didn't assemble this. It's possible. Just trust me, it's possible. You can you can have double bogey contraptions. Um so yeah, I I, I feel like I've explained uh the basics a little bit. Um you can check the uh VOD uh on YouTube um as soon as I finish the stream, but first I do wanna go through um, people in the comments uh, asking questions and I'll try and answer them if I can. Um, so let's have a look through here. Um, uh, keep the stream on your channel so I can watch it later. Yes, uh, the stream will stay on the channel. Um, that, that is the intention, right? Uh, the only reason I didn't pre-record this is just because uh, I don't like having to wait for it to upload. So I stream so it automatically uploads. Um, so does anyone else have a uh, question about um, carriage and train contraptions? You on YouTube? Oh, uh, yes. So um, uh, for for people uh, that might not uh, understand, um, I multi-stream. So this uh, VOD is on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Or this um, stream is on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Um, so you know on Twitch you might be confused because there is a lot more people on uh on YouTube right now, I believe. Do you need a furnace cart to make it move? No, uh you don't. So um uh if you have a look over here at this contraption, um so it is not really moving right now because it's not on any powered rails, but um, if I were to uh, just go through here and power this, you can see um, that I am using controller rails. You can also use, um, sorry, you can also use, um, you can also use, what do you call it, um, powered rails or any other form of movement. Uh, does the furnace cart need coal? No, it needs coal. So for a furnace cart to, to move a train contraption, you need to um, click on uh, it with a coal, right? like a normal furnace cart. But if you have on board assembled, um, like in chests, uh, coal, it will use that fuel, coal or charcoal. I probably missed it, but how do you keep the bottom carriage level with the ground? Um, so, um, 
This is uh, the stabilization feature um, of bearings. So bearings on contraptions will, um, so if a bearing is moving with a contraption, it will keep everything on it stable um, so that it is uh, parallel with the ground. How would one make this? Um, I'm sorry, Isaiah. If you if you mean specifically what I've made here, um, uh, I have a skim I have a, a video uh, on a short video on my uh, YouTube channel about uh, this. Um, what do you, what do you call it? I I, I called it a uh, cable car. Um, so. Um, you can download the schematic and, and see how it ticks, but basically it's just a carriage contraption with a bearing on it with some uh, a, a structure falling down. Um, also, um, I, I guess uh, like while we're on the top, but since this is about rails and stuff, um, I can show you a bit about how controller rails work. So let me get an analog lever. Uh, and I can I can use the cable car to display it a bit. Um, but if I were to press, let's say, F3, you can see um, uh, it says uh, on the... Uh, on the, the... what is it? Right side? On the right side, there is a uh, targeted block uh, create controller rail, right? And it says power six. So that means that this uh, rail has a speed of six. Um, so you can, depending on the uh, redstone input strength of the controller rail, you can change the speed at which carts move on it. And that's how I get it to slow down when it goes here, right? So you can see here, um, we have a ramping power it's it's one until here then it goes two three four five and all the way to six until it maintains a steady speed of six um and that is because so if i were to delete this you can see um when they're when they're on power they just stop carts um so with an analog lever or, or any adjustable like redstone power source um it, it's just the input like it's the redstone power level is what controls it and the analog lever just lets you easily control which you're putting in so for instance if i were to put let's say this is one power i've clicked it once it's one power but if i were to here i were to put let's say let's click it a bunch of times the speed will increase at a at a rate right it, it'll um take the difference between these two speeds and it'll increase in, into that speed. So that's um, that's how controller rail, rails work. So they're very useful for um, slowing down contraptions or keeping them moving at a very particular speed. Uh, do we have any other questions? Uh, okay, well, since this is a bit slow, I'll just say um, uh, I, I should have covered just about everything that I know um, so far. Am I going to put this on your survival series? You mean like uh, carriages and stuff? Yeah, I will. I'm, I'm going to use uh, trains and, and carriage contraptions in my survival. Um, and my next my next stream, um, I don't know. Uh, I might I might either do one later today or tomorrow um, for my next uh, survival stream. Yeah. 
But um, so anyway, I'll I'll just say um, I've updated all the dis uh, the the um, descriptions for the new streams. So there is now a Discord link, so you can um, follow my Discord if you uh, if you enjoy my content and uh, are interested in seeing more. Um, uh, so that uh, that Discord link is on the YouTube VOD description. Uh, I I can't put it on the uh, Twitch description. Um, uh, I'm I'm doing a create survival series right now. Um, so um, you can <laughs> uh, you you can uh, follow me to see more of that. Um, I I usually stream around noon uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, so I, I will say uh, you can also join the create discord if you're curious about create um, so uh, be sure to like check the create discord you can find that by going to the create curseforge page and clicking the feedback and help button uh, there are a lot of people very knowledgeable at that about this mod that will uh, um, you know be able to help I'm there too sometimes um, but, but yeah, so um, I, I don't want to keep uh, make this video too long. Um, uh, so I'm, I might be doing some survival stuff later today or, or tomorrow, but I look forward to seeing you then. Um, and <laughs> I very much appreciate all the, the new people that have come in since I started covering some create stuff recently. Um, and, and I appreciate the support. Have a nice day. Yes, 50 subs. I'm I'm glad. <laughs> I'm I'm happy. I I saw it. I was like, "Damn, I got there fast." Anyway, thank you and good